So have you ever had a diagnosis of cancer in your family? Or have you ever uh, faced the possible demise of anyone you loved, whether from cancer or some other serious or even terminal disease? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome to Light Screening, the channel for movie lovers more than movie savvies. My name is Gisela Cruz, and today we're going to be talking about a Chinese film called The Farewell. So this is by director uh, Lulu Wang. She This is only her second long feature film. She has some short fil films, but uh, 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 besides Posthumous, this is her only long feature film. It's about this Chinese girl, this 30-year-old this girl from New York uh, who is from a Chinese family and finds out that her grandmother has cancer, a very evolved stage of cancer. And uh, so her family and her, her grandmother's whole family decides to go back to China with the excuse of a wedding to say farewell and um, with one little detail they decide not to tell her that she's terminally healed so uh, this is about those emotions that can rise from that lie it's a pitiful lie but it's it's it brings about a lot of emotion and a lot of issues to this family so is it right is it wrong should they tell her should they not um this film was actually nominated for several awards. It's been nominated for the Best Foreign Movie uh, in the BAFTAs and the Golden Globes. Uh, uh, Aquafina, uh, Aquafina, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's the girl... Uh, she plays the girl, the 30-year-old girl. Um, she actually won the Golden Globe for actress in a musical, for best actress in a musical or comedy. So uh, actually... This is, uh, the premise is pretty great, isn't it? I mean, this family lying to their grandmother about her possible uh, very shortcoming demise. I mean, this, this could be a fabulous comedy. It isn't. Uh, nothing in the script says comedy. Um, this, could be, this could be a really big drama, but... It isn't. Uh, it is a drama, obviously, but it, it doesn't... What can I say? Um, this is... Uh, I, I'm going to read to you some of the stuff that I read. Uh, I read online that um, it's made with simplicity and skill. It captures the nuances of, a Chine of the Chinese culture. It does a subtle portrait of a family coping with tragedy. Uh, it talks about Chinese culture uh, of the people who are abroad. So there is all of that. There is a little bit of that. Uh, there is this scene where it is discussed whether they... Because... This person's family, this uh, grandmother, played by Zuzhen Zhao. Uh, she did some, some famous movies. She did The Story of Ming Lan. She did Only Cloud Knows. Also, Aquafina. She did Jumanji, The Next Level, in Ocean's 8. So she, she's got some high-profile movies in her uh, curriculum. Um, and she was nominated for Best Actress, obviously, and won the Golden Globe. But uh, this th there is this scene... Um, where these uh, the children of this grandmother, uh, they are immigrants. One family is in America, another one is in Japan. So they come back, and there is this scene where they discuss whether they feel Chinese and whether they they've ever felt Chinese and what what it it means and how different the other countries are. And so yes, there is a, a discussion of a discussion about culture about the nuances of the Chinese culture and uh, probably there are a lot of Chinese immigrants that are going to feel very close to this this portrait um, and there are probably some a lot of uh, people who unfortunately were struck by tragedy or had somebody with cancer in their family that are going to uh, feel what this family feels in what's portrayed here for me, and let's say what I think of this movie, um, I had high expectations because even if, uh, thank God, I wasn't faced with this kind of diagnosis in my, fa diagnose in my family, uh, I obviously, obviously can uh, relate to the, well, the, the pitiful lie where you, you don't tell the whole truth because you're going to hurt somebody. And also, obviously, we've all suffered... Uh, either because we were facing somebody's possible death or we've all suffered 
well, grief, uh, so, uh, or the expectation of grief. So I was expecting to feel identified with some of these emotions. I didn't. <laughs> so here's my review. Um, I do this channel because I love movies and I love talking about movies and I love saying what it's great about them and I love saying what it's lacking in them and it's very arrogant of me because obviously any movie that is made it's a huge collaboration of fabulous professionals just to get a movie made uh, it means that they over they they overcame some incredible difficulties and they are good because they made it so it's arrogant of me to sit here and criticize but this is one of those videos that I feel I don't feel at all motivated to do because I did not like this movie okay I had high expectations maybe it was a matter of expectations maybe it's a matter of culture and I am not Chinese and obviously uh, maybe the nuances are too nuanced for me and they totally I totally missed them I don't know I didn't feel the grief I didn't feel the pain I didn't feel the comedy I didn't feel anything that people say that this movie is about okay from top to bottom from the, be the beginning to the end nothing happened nothing happened can you even nothing happened I mean these people are facing a tragedy they are facing something so powerful so meaningful they are looking at somebody they love and they're about to lose them it's 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 the base for some haha -ha moments it's the base for some personality change it's the base for some 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 discovery some personal uh, trip nothing happens nothing they just leave exactly as they, as they came. I mean, nothing happened. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing happened. Nothing. It's just two and a half hours of nothing. Discussing the obvious. Whatever I knew before I got into that room. Whatever I knew about the culture. Because not even that. I mean, I wished I could say I learned a lot about Chinese culture. I came from that movie. Nothing else happened. But I learned a lot about their culture. Nothing happened. Nothing. I brought nothing from this movie. I don't even understand the nominations. I don't understand them. And about the performance. I'm so sorry. Aquafina. I'm sorry. I respect you. You did a good job. Not enough to win a freaking Golden Globe unless it's political, okay? So that just just pisses me off. So this is my review about this movie. Nothing happened. If you're Chinese, by all means, go watch it. If you had a, a diagnosis of cancer in your family, by all means, go watch it. Maybe it is cathartic for you. I don't know. Uh, if you had some big tragedy, not even that. I mean, I, I also had my personal struggles. Not even that. It didn't even... I, I Just nothing happened to me. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Nothing happened in the movie and nothing happened to me as a person watching the movie. So that is like, what the fuck? So I do not recommend it, obviously, and I'm 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 so sorry to say this. Anyways, um, so no character development, no aha moments, no uh, big changes, no fabulous script, no no big production, no nothing, nothing happened. So that's that. That's enough. So let's go to the blast from the past. Because that one was disappointing. So let's go to the blast from the past. Okay, so um, I've been watching a bit of European movies uh, because 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 I can because I'm European. I've I've this week I was all European movies in my personal life in my television set in my in my box. So uh, I'm going to not for everybody not easy to watch but it's a movie a french movie from 2013 called Surve surveillance so that's surveillance uh i'm not sure if it's translated like that in english but it's called surveillance it's by sebastian graal and the main characters are played by thomas Joanet and leonie simaga what is this about this is about this guy whose life is pretty much in the dumps um he just got divorced, he's fighting for the custody of his child, he's living back home with his parents, he's just gotten an apartment because he's just gotten a job. And the job, what is the job? The job is uh, 
security guard in a supermarket, a big supermarket in France. Why do I identify, why do I identify with this? Uh, because I worked at a supermarket not so long ago and um, it's an environment where you are constantly being told what to do. I mean, you don't have the freedom to choose much and to be you or to find your own solution. So, and yes, the environment is it impacted me this movie because the environment is uh, the environment I lived in where people think that they don't have choices. They, they have to put up with all of it because, uh, because they got kids to feed and because they have to, you know, pay for their bills and they think that that's the best they deserve. So I got out, thank God, because it killed my soul for a while. <laughs> I got out, but this movie kind of brought me back and, and what impacted me was the environment. And I'm pretty sure that, um, let's call the, from the middle class to the low class, let's say that. Uh, it's very, this is very arrogant also, but, and, uh, and even a little bit of prejudice, uh, but let's just say that some people feel that they don't have many choices. And if you watch this movie, tell me what you think. Um, because that's the environment I also lived in and it's pretty nasty. So... Uh, just even as a curiosity, if you can check this movie out, just tell me what you think uh, about the environment and about the way people live and what they think about themselves and what they think their choices are. Uh, it was impactful to me, so I'm recommending it to you. It's an European film, a uh, pretty good one, uh, not fabulous one, but a pretty good one and I recommend it. So this is one of those videos that I, I, I'm, I'm in my pajamas already. If you want to, I'm in my pajamas because I was thinking, oh man, I don't feel like doing this one today, but I did, uh, because yes, I like movies and I'm powering through it. Uh, so tell me what you think about these movies. If you've seen the farewell and you disagree with me, just come and tell me why, because I would like to know and understand it. Uh, and, uh, please just leave a comment, uh, sig uh, put the, 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 click the little bell there so that you can get my videos when I post them and, uh, share and like, and do all that. So that, uh, after almost a year, after more than a year doing videos, maybe I can get some more subscribers because I'm terrible at self-promotion. And if you could give me a hand, I would appreciate it. So go to the movies people. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.